when you look at a painting, you kind of like stand there and then distance yourself from your mind. You look at your mind as it reacts to the painting. You'll get to know yourself on such a new level. Like you will observe how you think. You don't have to do anything anymore. It's just like your mind does it all for you and you just observe. My name is Jason Rohr and I'm a visual artist. I'm very interested in ideas of post-humanism and digital aesthetic and I try to bring that into the physical and traditional realm. In post-humanism you kind of criticize the humanocentricity or like the that the human is the most important thing. Post-humanism tries to kind of um, dismantle this idea. I was always very fascinated by uh, progress technology, but I definitely rejected it a lot. It might not seem that way from my work, <laughs> but I'm actually a very big like nature person, I guess. When I go into the forest, I almost feel artificial. And so the forest just kind of like brings me down again. And I just get way different ideas in the forest than in like an urban space. But they're equally as important to me. My standard painting would be oils, crayons, you know, chalks, like pastel chalks. And now it's, it's kind of shifting. I bought an airbrush and I started using it now and I, I'm definitely gonna keep going with that as well. For me, art is like a life-sustaining practice. Without art, I just wouldn't see my purpose. It's like, I can't control it really. It's, I get thoughts, if I don't execute them, I suffer. When I can't do that, things turn dark. Like, I feel so much despair. I feel so much like meaninglessness. It feels like I'm a slave in my mind. Whether it's a utopia or a dystopia, I want people to react. I want them to decide what they want. I want them to give observations and potential futures and then see how they react. I want them to either reject it or be like, oh, I actually enjoy this. Like, let's 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 go in this direction.